Welcome to Electron Online, and now this video is very important if you want to get a full understanding of what we mean by an acid ionizing and the ionization constant and what percentage of the acid will actually ionize. And so here we have to look at it in two different ways. First of all, what if you have a strong acid? If you have a strong acid, it doesn't matter what the original concentration was of the acid, a strong acid will fully ionize, or very nearly so, and therefore we could say that the ionization percentage percent ionized will be 100% for a strong acid. For a weak acid, however, that is very different. For a weak acid, it depends a lot, and oh, I didn't, I didn't write this here, did I? The red line represents a weak acid, and what that means is that the, percent, the percentage of the ionization that takes place for a weak acid depends on the initial concentration. If there's a very small initial concentration of acid, a very large percentage, as much as 100% of it, will ionize. But as the initial concentration of the weak acid increases, a smaller and smaller percentage of the acid will ionize because it basically saturates. This is this saturation effect, and we'll see that later. So what does that really mean? Okay, since we know that percent ionized is simply the ratio of the, the concentration of the hydrogen ion divided by the concentration of the acid, the final concentration, and multiply times 100%, notice that if a small amount of the the hydrogen gets put into the um, solution, then the ionization percentage, of course, is small. So 100% ionization will occur when the final concentration of the acid in the solution is smaller than or equal to the final concentration of the hydrogen ion. So for a very strong acid, this will be much bigger than this, and therefore this always will be smaller. There will be 100% ionization there. And the definition of the ionization constant is the product of the concentration of the hydrogen ion the, times the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the final concentration of the acid. Now notice that if virtually all of the acid is used up, so to speak, if almost all of the acid uh, ionizes so that the concentration of the acid at the end is virtually zero, as it goes to zero, the ionization constant goes to infinity. So for strong acids, the ionization constant is much greater than one. For weak acids, it tends to be smaller than one because there will be less of a concentration of the hydrogen ion compared to the final concentration of the acid. So if you understood that, you're in good shape because then you really understand how this works. And so for a strong acid, we don't have to worry, all of it ionizes. For a weak acid, we have to figure out what the percentage of the ionization is of the acid, what the final pH will be based upon the original concentration or the initial concentration. If it's a very small concentration, there'll be a large, uh, there'll be a, a large percentage of the ionization. If there's a small concentration or if there's a large concentration, then of course the percentage of the ionization goes way down for a weak acid. And so that's the basis of the understanding of how this works. We'll show you some more examples now where we will vary the initial concentration of a weak acid and we can see how the percentage of the ionization will change accordingly. Remember, a large initial concentration, small percentage ionization. A small initial concentration, large percentage ionization. So with the next examples, we'll show you how that works.